of you, I've always wanted to play the pipe organ, but they're a little big and I don't really know how I'm going to fit one in here. And I think they cost a few million dollars. So I'm going to have to settle for something else. And today we're looking at the Fredonia Grand Organ, which is a virtual instrument from Impact Soundworks. Full disclosure, they gave me this for free because I'm a big time YouTuber, but uh, there was no exchange of money and they didn't tell me what to say. So I'm just going to be honest. I specifically wanted to check out this instrument because from the demos I've seen, it sounds really good. It's got a lot of cool features in terms of being able to turn on and off the different stops. And if you don't know much about organs, one of their many awesome features is the ability to mix and match different sounds by changing the stops, which essentially activates or deactivates certain ranks of pipes. There are many, many pipes in a pipe organ, a couple thousand usually, and different instruments have different stops. This one has fully sampled all the different stops on this particular organ, so that gives me the option to play around with different sounds. I've checked out a number of different organ sample libraries as well as, you know, stock organ sounds on keyboards and rack units and stuff, and some of them sound pretty good, but there's usually a number of problems, and one of my main ones is that they often have very limited options in terms of different sounds. They may have a bigger grand organ and then a more intimate sounding organ, but usually there's only a couple different settings and you can't really individually tweak a lot of the parameters like you can in this plugin. So that really interested me and I wanna see how good the sampling is as well as some of its MIDI functionality. I'm not a professional organist, I mean, I didn't think anyone was under that impression, but <laughs> nonetheless, um, I will do my best to demonstrate this plugin. Let's dive right in. I've got my trusty MIDI crab, which is a MIDI foot switch with an expression pedal. You can check out my video on how I built that if you're interested in that, but be aware that I do have that at my feet and I'm going to see if I can use it to change presets or at least use the expression pedal to uh, do volume swells and stuff, which I'm pretty sure it can. So. Let's take a look. This plugin runs in contact, but it is compatible with the contact player, which is free, which is good for me because I don't have the full version of contact and it's pretty expensive. So here is just the uh, stock sound out of the box. That sounds pretty awesome, and I haven't touched anything. We can check out some of the presets, but I think uh, the tweakability here is what kind of sets it apart from other libraries. Now, another problem I've run into with some of the free pipe organ sample libraries I've found, which otherwise sound pretty good, but sometimes there's a lot of noise or they get kind of glitchy when you play them fast and it's, it's loading too many samples. That may be an issue with some of the sample players I'm using, but let's just see if there's any audible noise in the samples, or if they've done some good noise reduction, if there's any sort of glitchiness or, you know, whatever, let's play some fast notes and uh, just see what happens. This is running the library through the gauntlet. <laughs> So there's definitely no sort of glitchiness going on, which is good. I would expect that, but I'm also not really hearing a whole lot of noise. Um, some of the libraries I've tried out have a lot of sort of microphone preamp noise, high fizzy stuff. It sounds like that's been really taken care of. This sounds very polished right out of the box. So that's good as far as the instrument quality goes. I'm gonna give it high marks. Another thing I wanna try out is some of the MIDI functionality and see how easy it is to map some MIDI stuff with a foot controller because the organ is a big instrument that has usually a lot of controls. And of course I have just one keyboard, but at least I have six buttons at my feet and an expression pedal. So well, let's try to map some of those up and see 
what we can do with that. So just right clicking on one of the buttons gives me the learn MIDI function. So I'm just going to click that. And let's map the crescendo. Oh, that's cool. Um, mapping the crescendo to my expression pedal. So I've got this cool volume and I see that as you increase the volume, it's actually just turning on more stops. Now that's really cool. I thought maybe this was more like a volume control or something, but let's hear how that sounds. I was playing with it all the way down before. The manual here on the organ is going from C1 up to C7, so it's not quite the full span of the keyboard, but um, pretty close, and of course we've got octaves in there and stuff, so some of the notes are going to go much lower than the piano will anyways, but um, that's not a bad thing. That's uh, the size of a real organ manual, I suppose. Um, they are a little smaller than pianos, so that's probably just modeled after the real instrument, and uh, you know, no problem there. You can also turn on the release noises and change the volume of that so uh, we can hear how that sounds. Okay, so that's not uh, like the action of the manual on the organ itself. That's actually uh, the sound of the pipe sort of trailing off. I actually like that all the way up. It sounds natural. It sounds a little more realistic than with it off. So I'm just going to leave that on. Let's see what the swell does. So that adds a little bit of volume and brightness to the swell division, which is cool. Uh, if I had an extra expression pedal, I could use that. It doesn't make a huge difference, certainly not as dramatic as the crescendo. With my MIDI controller, I've got six buttons. I'm not really sure what I can use them for. Typically with plugins, if I change presets with it, there's too much loading time for it to be useful live. But maybe I could use it to turn on and off different divisions, or I'm gonna look around and see if I can do something cool with these buttons. I can easily map the same way just by right clicking on a button. And you see, I've got the, uh, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, gedict, uh, stop on this button, so. That's kind of a subtle stop. It does add some little bit of vibrato and kind of a vocal quality. So if you have a MIDI foot switch, you can bind any of these stops to a button and toggle them on and off that way. So that's cool. Uh, and that answers one of my questions, which is, can I use my foot controller? In the perform tab, it looks like we have basically a mixer. We've got your basic ADSR um, envelope controls, volumes, um, you can transpose stuff, change tuning. I don't really have any use for that right now, but um, just some extra fine tuning you could do in there and it has them for each uh, division there. So that's cool. The crescendo editor, this shows us uh, which ones are being turned on and off with the crescendo. 
And since I am using that with a foot controller, that's pretty useful. So I can customize when each of these uh, stops comes on or off with the um, expression pedal. So that's very nice. I like that. So in the key editor, we have a velocity curve, which normally doesn't do anything on an organ. You hit a note, they're all the same volume. Um, but it looks like uh, you can add a filter here so that we can actually play dynamically on an organ, which is... I'm not gonna use this because it's unrealistic to how an organ works, but it does work and it might be useful maybe if you're playing with a piano and you're not used to playing an organ, which I'm not really either, but <laughs> I like, I'm going for realism here and uh, that is not how a real organ works, but it's a nice feature, uh, glad they include it. It might be useful for someone and uh, why not? Now this is a cool thing I can do with my pedal. It's got this tutti button which uh, means all. So pulling out all the stops, right? Okay, <laughs> that freaked out my computer. So the tutti mode is freaking out my computer a little bit um, just because it's loading so many samples. That's not a fault of the plugin, but uh, depending on your setup, yeah, that is going to be a lot of samples and it does glitch out a little bit. I'm running this at lowest latency, which means I have less uh, CPU overhead and I'm recording to OBS. So that's kind of expected, um, but normally it's performing just fine, even under some load here. So. Uh, no problem there, but uh, I'm not going to be using that. There's also a console here where we can uh, mix the different microphones. There's the mix setting by default. It looks like there's a XY pair of KM184 condensers. That's a nice mic. There's a mid-side Opus and a QTC40AB. So there's several different mic options you can mix as well as an effects rack. And uh, let's look at the effects. We've got a whole bunch of different effects on here. Uh, saturators, compressors, reverbs, uh, delays. So if you want to do some sort of creative mixing stuff in it, they do give you a whole bunch of extra effects just included for free, which is awesome. Um, that is that is a nice touch. And some of the presets may make use of that too, which is cool. Real quick, I'm just going to cycle through the mics just so you can get a little sense of the different flavors of all the mics it captured. Very cool. I'm just gonna leave it on mixed or whatever the presets are. Let's go through some of the stock presets and just see what kind of sounds are right out of the box. This one's called Airy and Wispy. That's a really great sound that you don't get in a lot of organs. They tend to focus on the big full church organ sound. That's a nice sort of vocal, uh, really airy, fluty sound, which is nice to have the access to. With the crescendo on this preset, we're going from a sort of bassier sound to a more treble and light sound. So it's not just adding volume because we have that crescendo editor. It's actually totally switching the tone from lower octaves to higher octaves. Cool touch. I like it. Angel pipes. Let's bring on the 
brass. That's very metal, and it even includes the knocked horn, so you know it's brutal. What about some bright highs? That's certainly bright and high. Here is a whole crescendo preset. What does this do? Uh oh. <laughs> All right, let's hope this doesn't crash my computer. I think that one's going to clip. But that's okay. Let's go into the dark. Sick. Flutes only. This one is pedals only, so get ready to drop the bass. Deep. Just the tone on that is something it's um it's kind of breathy it's like a giant voice that's amazing makes me wish i had a huge subwoofer to blast <laughs> full but not overpowering
It's almost got a little bit of a pizzicato strings if you play really staccato. Horns and bassoons. Perfect for when you want to welcome the king to the Renaissance Fair. Horns and winds. Sub air mover. That's awesome. The Opera Phantom. I think we all get the idea of what this is. Something like that. have some effects too. So there's a lot of presets here, and I think a lot of them are going to be useful. Um, I'm not usually all that into presets, but in a case like this where there's so many options, it is really useful. And it's not totally changing the whole sound, it's more like helping you select the kind of uh, combination of stops you want on the organ. It gives you a good starting place for whatever tone you're going for. Now I just want to play through all the different stops pretty quick and just give you a sense of what each of these ranks of pipes are doing. And this will be educational for me too, because I don't know entirely. There are also some other options for each division, um, like a tremolo. So 
So that was the swell division. Here is the positive division. I just really like that. It's, I don't know, I like that. Now, some of these that have um, fractions in them, those are not quite in tune with everything else. So they can add a cool color and dissonance. You would not use those for like a, a solo. The trompeta real, a very cool trumpet sound. It's super loud, it's aggressive, but It's a very recognizable sound. So the higher the number, the lower the sound. The number is the feet of pipe. So an eight is eight foot pipe. That's gonna be lower than a one foot pipe. So you can get a sense of what each of these are doing just based on the numbers. Um, you can also unload the samples by clicking on those blue lights if you need to save CPU. Um, that's the only real reason to do it, but just another thing you can do. So the lowest here in the pedal section is the 32 foot Untersatz. I can only hear part of that on my headphones. I can tell it's deep, but I think you'd need a pretty impressive sub to fully <laughs> experience that. But it sounds pretty cool on my headphones anyway, so. So there are reed pipes, which sound more like a bassoon or an oboe, and then there are flue pipes, which are metal or wood. The wood ones are a little softer, a little more, I don't know, very charming sounding. The metal ones are the ones that you're used to hearing and think of as a pipe organ, probably. Um, so all of these, you know, have different mixtures. Uh, this one is the contrafagot. <laughs> And as you can guess, that is a reed pipe. A fagotti is a bassoon. And then the last is the great division. So that's what I really like about this plugin. You can go in, you can select the different uh, particular stops you want. It's great for learning about pipe organs. Um, as I said, I'm not an organ expert at all, but I'm very interested in pipe organs. So this is a cool way to learn about 
what the different sounds are and have some fun making different sounds with the organ. I think there's a lot that's super useful and easy to work into a mix here and everything that I've heard sounds really fantastic and the presets are good. So it's a really awesome plugin and thanks to Impact Soundworks for letting me check it out. And it's way cheaper than a lot of other organ samples. Pretty much the best one I've heard. I mean, I don't know of any that I like better. Um, that's why I wanted to try this one out. So, but it's uh, it's not too expensive. I think it runs 130 normally and uh, you might be able to find it on sale too for a little less. But if you need an organ, it's affordable. It works with Contact Player. It works really well and it offers a lot of unique features that I don't think other organ libraries do. So I give it a strong recommendation and that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed. Please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.